After waiting many months, we are finally in the new home and we are so excited. Now, I'm going to start uploading all kinds of different videos about getting the house up to the smart home level that I want it to be at, as well as just finishing other projects that I have been working on over the last few months. The first project that I'm going to do is fixing this little charging uh, cabinet that I talked about. Now, during the walkthrough, one plan that I had was to put an outlet inside this cabinet so that we have one central location to charge all of the devices, and that's right in here. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like now. So in here, just like any charging cabinet, you got a bunch of cables and then a device or whatever it is that isn't very manageable. So the first thing that I did was I found one of these. We actually just had a little rack for some lids for pots hanging around. And I put this in there. I then could stack all the devices here and pile them on, but then it was hard to kind of reach all of the devices back here. So I then decided, why don't we use this and we mount it up onto the wall. So here you can see I have it mounted against the wall and then it makes a slot for each device. So I can then just take each of my devices and stack them in just like that. Every device is easy to get and I like how it's not enclosed inside something so that I have access to all the charging ports wherever they may be. So with this little bracket here, I played around with where I wanted it, but I ended up deciding it to have it a little bit off the bottom shelf so that I had room for this iPad where I can sit it there and it doesn't need to be on a shelf or anything. So that was the first thing. Then I wanted to stack at least four other devices. So here I have room for four devices. I guess I could get one that's a little smaller for more devices, but I like kind of the sturdiness of this, even though it is a little bit you know, flexible. Um, next thing was drilling it in. So I decided to have the bottom part here so it kind of props it out. So it gives it a little slant. Now thankfully I took lots of pictures beforehand because right behind here, this stud, um, I was measuring off of the outlet here. I checked the pictures and then I realized right here is a stud and on each side is a water line. So a hot water line and a cool water line. So I need to be super accurate in putting in that line because I did not want to hit that water uh, line. So thankfully I was able to get it in and no problems there. And now this is really secure. So it's not going anywhere. Then I kind of just pushed each of these up so that they then are able to flex up a little bit. So we now have room to stack all of these different devices. So I'm loving how I have this set up so far. Um, I'm, there might be some better options there, but it works. The only problem we've had with this is this uh, Pixelbook Go is a little slippery on the bottom. So it kind of slides around and we may have had one incident where it slid off right onto the countertop or onto my Pixel 7 Pro. Anyway, so now back to the task at hand. So let's go ahead and take these out real quick. And now we're going to fix this area over here. So here is my outlet that I have. And uh, I looked at a few different options. One is I looked at the option of getting one that has outlets and you can have the USB ports or the USB-C ports right on the outlet. So you have the option to charge all of those. And that was great, but one of the problems you run into, like down here, is that it starts to cover the outlets. And so they become unusable if you have any big power bricks. Here I have my Nest Hub Max plugged in. I now have only access to one of those USB-A outlets, and I have the plug. So I ended up deciding to go with some Anchor power bricks. This is the Anchor Nano 2, a part of the Series 7. So there's just a little instruction sheet, but this has some really nice quality. Um, not sponsored today, just checking out this cool product. So I've been seeing this float around um, and in the pictures, it actually looked a lot thicker or deeper than this, but I'm very happy with the size there. And there we have the IQ charging and this can support up to 65 watts. And then here we have the USB-A. So that gives me two USB-C and a USB-A port just because we need that sometimes. So let's go ahead, plug two of these into the outlet there.
All right, that's looking pretty good so far. So now let's talk about the cables to charge the devices. So here, um, a lightning cable would be needed, not very long. I figured only a foot, put another device here, plug it in there on the side, and even up at the top, plug in a device right here. So it didn't need long cables. I don't need that big old mess of cables that we had here before. So I ended up picking up some one foot cables. So I have USB-C here, as well as a lightning, and I even picked up a USB-A to micro, because every once in a while we do need those. So let's start with the iPad down here on the bottom. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna use my first port there. And we know the white one goes right into the iPad on the bottom. I heard it charging, perfect. Next here we have the Series 5, and this is the Powerline 3. They didn't have the Powerline Plus for this model, not sure why. This should be sufficient. So let's go ahead, plug that in there. Heard that charge. And here my Pixelbook Go right on the side. Plug it in. And here we have a Lenovo Chromebook. Now your Macs and everything else should work just fine. And last here I have my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So there we have all five devices being charged at the same time um, with very short cables that looks really clean, whether all of them in here or not. Let's go ahead and double check that all are charging. All right, iPad Pro is charging. Fire Tablet is charging. Kids Edition. I can't show you that, but the Pixelbook Go is charging. And here our Lenovo Chromebook is charging. And then lastly, here we have the Tab S7 Plus is charging as well. And this says it's only gonna be an hour and 18 minutes until it's charged. So there you go, that covers all five of these devices at once. Now let's talk about what we could do with this extra space over here. So up here at the top, you'll notice we have a few old Samsung headphones level overs, which are pretty awesome. Still work great most of the time. And so I decided, oh, it'd be cool if we could charge some of the headphones right here, um, but you can't charge when they sit down like that. So here I picked up an Anchor Pro little mount so I could screw this in or I can just use the 3M at top, has a little hook on there, but then I can mount it right here and we can put the headphones on like so. So let's try it out. All right, 30 seconds is done. Let's go ahead and try that out. Sit this one on back here. And this one right here. And let's go ahead and pull out our last cable. I'll have a link to all the different devices I'm using today in the description below. So we're gonna plug this in and that fits right there. So now we have every device being charged at once and they will be readily available if we need any of these at any time. So if you have any further questions about this, please let me know. And if you want to check out the full new setup of all of our smart shades, check out the video here. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.